Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are here at Caesar's tent. Um, so we have just uh, completed surgery um, to move Caesar's brain tumour. Um, so, yep, that's that's been uh, completed. Let's put that on. Much better. Um, so, the next task that we have been given is um, Arizona Killer. So, this is the kind of opposite quest of you'll know it when you ha when it happens, which is where you have to help the NCR prevent Legion assassins from killing um, President Aaron Kimball. Um, because, you know, even Mr House knows, and Yes Man knows, that um, if something happened to the President then morale would hit the NCR hard and it would make it harder for them to succeed in um, taking the dam and keeping the, um, keeping the Legion from the dam. But obviously because we're siding with the Legion, we are going to be one of the um, assassins. So we have to go and meet with um, Cato Hostelius um, somewhere near uh, the dam. So yeah, Hoover Dam's there. Um, Camp for on Hope. And the El Dorado Gas and Server seems to be the nearest uh, fast travel point. We probably don't want to go to Boulder City because um, it says Merciful Thug, so there's obviously still some NCR there who are not happy with me um, because I am working with the Legion. So, um, yeah, technically we're inside technically. Um, so we don't need to go outside to fast travel, but yes, yeah, so that's our next task. So oh. we're going to head outside. And then we should be able to fast travel from here. Um, Maybe just is it technically yeah, supposed to get the boat back to Cottonwood Cove? Yeah, okay, that works. Um, although I think well done for actually remembering the exact location because <laughs> my custom marker's right on the spot where it should be, also because they keep taking all my weapons off me. Um, network. Since you haven't pissed yourself. Oh. I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Oh, I know Next time are. I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. See, the NCR sends us when they want terrible things uh -huh. done to terrible people. Leave me alone. You're asking for lenient... Uh, You've got three days. Have a nice... Okay, bye. Three days. Three days, sure. Wait till you see what I can achieve in three days. Uh, right, yeah, so that's your kind of warning, even though most of the NCR are already shooting me on site, um, that they're going to start sending um, Ranger Assassin squads after me. Um, I mean, at least they give you a warning in three days, whereas Caesar's Legion's just like, no, fuck this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think in the next three days you're going to see just what I can achieve um oh there's something here what have I walked into possibly something nasty with the yep you're saying danger I don't know who I'm in danger from to be honest there's nothing around that I can see unless it's, is that Casador? part of the map there can be some nasty uh, wildlife running about. 
think this might be our man. Hello. Didn't expect Kaisar to send a woman to do this job. Yeah, well. Oh well, at least you're here now. I was starting to get lonely out here by myself. Don't make it creepy. So you're the big shot that Kaisar put in charge of this mission. I've heard about you. You've got quite the reputation already. Well, let's get down to business. Once we get started, we're going to be on a tight schedule. Are you ready to do this? Eh, uh, not yet. Give me a we'll sec. hurry it up and get your shit together. I'd have to be such a dick about it, honestly. This one I want to check is if I've got any, um... Okay, I have one stealth boy, so hopefully what one stealth it? boy is enough. <laughs> right, let's go. Good. Kimball is scheduled to give his speech tomorrow. We'll rest here tonight and talk the plan over first thing in the morning. Okay. Get some sleep. you got a big day ahead of you. Sure. Rise and shine. You have a big day ahead of you. I'm very excited. So, do you have a plan for how you're going to kill Kimball? Let's see what you better start this. thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. have some information that could help you. Give me that. I've been spying in the dam for quite a while now. I've gathered quite a bit of information from various sources. Mm -hmm. What so suggestions? Suggestions, huh? I'd suggest you play to your strengths. There's probably plenty of ways to kill Kimball. Just find one that works best for you. We'll have a few hours before he arrives. You should look around and see if you can find anything that you can use. Mm -hmm. Just be careful. You don't want to cause a scene before Kimball even shows up. Okay, so what have you got? I've been able to get some basic information on the schedule for Kimball's visit, as well as getting some rough security details. Mm -hmm. The president is scheduled to arrive sometime in the afternoon. It's going to be a short visit to boost morale for the NCR troops. He's going to arrive, give a speech, and then leave. No meet and greet, no questions, just a quick in and out. Mm -hmm. They're probably afraid something is going to happen for good reason. I wasn't able to find a final itinerary for his visit, but if you can find one, you can get more details on what's going to happen. Okay. Security is going to be tight. Rangers are stationed all around the observation deck where Kimball is going to give his speech. Security is led by a Ranger Grant. He's a pretty rough guy who's seen a lot of combat. It's best if you steer clear of him. The crowd consists of troopers and a few select civilians who were lucky enough to bribe their way in. They shouldn't cause much trouble for you. Finally, there's the additional security that Kimball will be bringing with him. I wasn't able to find out much on that. If I had more time in their computers, I could have accessed the full duty roster and guard deployment. Maybe you'll have better luck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What would you like to know? Uh, how are we getting on? I have some disguises for us. I've already got mine. A wealthy Brahmin baron who bribed his way into seeing the president. As for you, I have a NCR trooper uniform that I acquired. It'll fool most of the troopers and civilians, but it probably won't fool the rangers. And he means that um, the thing about it is that you can wear the disguise, but if you get too close to any of the NCR rangers, they're going to know that you're not supposed to be there, um, and they'll turn hostile. So it is something to be aware of. Like The normal troopers and the civilians probably won't bother you, but if you get too close to the rangers... They can turn on you. Um, anything else you can do to help? Well, I have a bomb here that can be put on the vertebrae that will detonate at a certain altitude. But it's a little unstable and dangerous. Okay, I don't have the explosive Suit skills yourself. for that. What else do you want to know? Um, that's it. If there's nothing else, then we should get moving. Let's go. You're the boss. I'll be in the crowd. Do whatever you need to do. Then find me before Kimball arrives. Here's your disguise. This will get you past most of the NCR there. But watch out for the rangers. Odds are this won't fool them. I'll meet you there. Good luck. Um. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um. Because yeah, once you get into the dam area, if you pull a, a gun, they will fire on you. Um. So be aware of that. As well, um, 
but yeah, you've got a few options, so um, you can kind of go and plant a bomb on the vertebrate. You can um, just snipe them. That that's an option. Um, if you can get yourself into a vantage point where um, uh, I don't think you can run through the cliff, Kato. Or Make it quick. We don't have good timing. Looks like I hope you're up for this. I've got you now. So apparently you can rig the um, big howitzer anti-aircraft gun on the dam to shoot the vertebrate. So I think we're going to try and do that. Stealth point and see how this goes. This might take a few attempts. This might be an option. option that I have. Okay. I don't yeah. Make it quick. We don't have much. I'm done. Good timing. I hope you're up for this. That's quite an easy way. I think you need like 50 repair to do that. Um, and yeah, you just get the anti-graph gun to target um, 
the vertebrate and that's it. So they're all like, oh, alert, but because I'm invisible now, they, they, they can't see me, so. <laughs> so yeah, that uh, three day warning. I don't care about that. But yeah, job done. Uh, President has been assassinated. And I think that's pretty much it for, you know, sort of, um, now that this is done, we're pretty much ready to get straight into, um, into battle. So, should be far enough away that we can uh, fast travel back to the fort. Why are we neutral? Oh, crap. Yeah, that's silly. My normal clothes back on. There we go. Another kill to my name. You like that? There you are. Oh, Come for God's sake. <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Yeah, let's not turn up at the fort dressed as the NCR this time, um, because that's that's a silly thing to do. By order of Kaisar, all. Yeah, 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 fine. Your belongings will be. Re I'll wait. You better give me the back before we go into the Battle of Hoover Dam, or I'm not going to be that much use if I have to go and punch NCR troopers. Just saying. I feel like I've done more than enough to prove that I'm on side. Here we are. So yeah, I say it's it's fairly quick one. I mean, you can do if you've got C4 and a detonator, you can put it in that helmet. And um, that's Jeremy Watson. So he's going to be getting a medal from the president and stuff. Um, so that you can do that and then um set it off. You can go up to the tower and What's snipe from a distance. Um. You can you can lay mines and stuff. I think. But um, the thing is, is that if you're spotted and then NCR go hostile against you before the vertebrates in the area um, then it won't land and you can't finish the quest and then Caesar's not happy about that understandably because you know he's um, the boss man so if you don't actually do what you're told to do he's not too impressed but Our way. True to Kaiser. yeah 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 right I've done it you Dispatched President Kimball with real skill. Thank you. Right under their noses, too. What a humiliation. Yep. My forces are in a position to assault the dam. Legatus Linnaeus has assumed command. Okay. Are you ready to go to him? To tell him to begin the assault? Uh, yep. Let's just Good. Get in hoc signo torus vinces. Report to Legatus Linnaeus immediately. He'll brief you on the plan of battle. Come back victorious, or don't come back. Okay. Um, I have no idea what he just said there in Latin. I'll we'll look that up and maybe put it on the screen um, <laughs> later. Because, uh, yeah, I say Latin is not a language. I wanted to do Latin at school, um, but before I could choose that as a subject, the um, teacher, the only teacher, that um, taught Latin at my school retired, so um, I was stuck with French. I couldn't even do German, it was only French um, because I needed to do two sciences um, to get into vet school. So here we go. So you'll maybe recognise this place from the previous um, iterations where we uh, made our way here um, to fight. Legatus Linnaeus, um, but today we are not going to fight him and we're not going to talk him round and we're not going to send him into another dimension like what happened last time. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be working for him. So, Legatus, a stranger oh. arrives, one who bears the mark. Who just exploded? Finally. Mars has accepted my sacrifices and unleashes me. 
Mars is a uh, war god. You are the courier Lord as well as Kaiser has spoken of. The slaughter yes. begins then. Yep. So, what needs done? In the past, the NCR has relied upon attrition, withering our numbers with ranged fire and falling back as necessary. Not this time. The dam contains tunnels to its heart, overlooked by the NCR, now occupied by the Legion. Okay. When the battle begins, the NCR will find our teeth at their throats in a dozen places. There will be no attrition, no falling back, only carnage. Okay, so that's an interesting thing because obviously if you play any other end and you um, are trying to convince, either convince this guy to go away or you're going to kill him, um, and again, all the stories you hear about Legat Linnaeus is how he's vicious, how he enjoys killing people, and he's not really loyal to the Legion, he's just loyal to Caesar personally, um, and you know, he enjoys killing, and he's even killed his own men, um, his own tribe, when they wanted to surrender and all that stuff. So you might think that he's just a, a brute who doesn't have any kind of thought or intelligence or anything behind him and he just enjoys killing people but here you know he's talking and whether it's this was his strategy or not but um you know he says no we're we're gonna basically back the NCR into a corner and we've got um we, we found all their weak points then we're, and we're ready to strike and they're not going to be able to kind of fire and then back off this time so that there's a real so a strategy and there's thought that's gone into the plan here um, because I say Linnaeus he may not be loyal to the Legion as a whole but he wants to do what Caesar wants and that's what Caesar wants is the dam so he's clearly put some time and thought into analysing the situation and figuring out how best to achieve that for Caesar so this is this is kind of the thing about like at Linnaeus and it's, it's probably one of the reasons that you do have the option of, of talking him round even you know it does obviously require a maxed out speech skill but because he does have intelligence he does have the ability to strategize and to, to kind of plan um, and prepare for other eventualities and things so there is you know, he's not just, you know, like one of the, the kind of big dumb super mutants that's just like, ah, I'm going to kill everyone. He does have an intelligence and a, and a you know, a sharp mind as well. Um, so what do you want me to do? Our forces are better equipped to take objectives than hold them. I do not wish to defend this place if another option exists. Okay. Our opponents follow a strict chain of command, which is both a strength and weakness. I intend to use you to strike at that weakness. Find the enemy commander, this General Oliver. Mm -hmm. Kill him or his resolve. Do this and his cowards will retreat, leaving the dam to us. Yep. Okay, um... So, yep, yeah, he's basically, it's kind of the opposite way around that um, we're going to go and take care of General Oliver again. You know, you're cutting off the head of the snake, essentially, um, which is a tried and true military strategy for, you know, these situations where, um, you know, reasonably good targets, um, if you're at war with another military, is to, to go for the leadership. So we've assassinated their president. Now we're going to deal with the general, General Oliver, who's obviously in charge of the NCR's armed forces. So, um, Mars's eyes are upon you. Do not fail him or us. So there's some mention of Mars, so he's obviously adopted the idea of um, this god and you know we all know Mars is a planet but a lot of planets and celestial bodies have been named after um, deities so I'm going to just double check my mythology quickly. Um, so 
yeah, Mars was the ancient Roman god of war. Um, sort of conflated with um, Ares, the Greek god of war. So a lot of the Roman and Greek gods were the same gods, but they, they went by different names. Um, so Mars is the, the god of war. So it makes a lot of sense that this guy who they've obviously all adopted the kind of Roman um, style and the Roman kind of um, military organisation. It's all very much um, you know, so it's all very much centred around that. So he's obviously taken this idea of Mars, the god of war, and has run with it. So he, he's kind of taken that as his um, centre of mass. Adamantium skeleton, that's always a good one. Um, he's obviously adopted Mars as a god that he wants to um, you know, pray to and, and have faith in and things. So, um, yeah. Interesting. Oh, that happens again. This is the issue. You know what would help would be literally the most simple thing is that if they take your guns off you <laughs> and then you get them back that the game just remembers which one you had equipped. Like, you know, even if you have to reset the hotkeys and whatever, I don't really use the hotkeys very much. Um, but, like, just... <laughs> <laughs> if the game could just remember which uh, which gun I had equipped, that's that's all I ask. It would just make my life so much easier, um, especially when you're doing the Legion playthrough because you're in and out of the bloody fort just constantly. But we do at least have a nice gang of uh, legionaries running ahead as uh, well, I don't want to say cannon fodder, but you know. Cannon fodder. Yeah. Where am I supposed to be going? Am I supposed to be going this way? Am I supposed to be going somewhere else? Yeah. So yeah, you can see we've basically arrived at exactly the spot where um, you would come when you go to, to kill or to top down the leg out so we're doing it all backwards essentially which you know, makes sense I guess um, throwing explosives around and could you not literally I was just, just took adamantium skeleton as well and oh, anyway right well you exploded into a mess of uh, covers and bits what are you bits of a different one you yeah. are is the problem with the bloody mess perk <laughs> Sometimes you can't quite tell who's uh, who's who. Also, all my Legion guys are dead. I don't know if they're going to send me any more assistance, but... Fine, I'll just do all the work. That's fine. I'm pretty much used to that. Needs an army. Just <laughs> man needs a hunting rifle. I can take down these. Uh, I mean, look, that's a hand. Uh, oops, I'm back. Yes, please. No, oh, that's bits of the same guy. Are you a different guy? Nope. 
You're no different. No. Oh, for goodness sake. There's just bits of him everywhere. Boomers are going to come in soon and do their thing. Just stand still. Stop throwing grenades. Okay. Yep, these are my guys, so that's fine. You have a stem pack. Wait, wait. Go. Oh, come on. You like that? Guys, you don't need to be helpful. You need to not get in my way. Okay. Come on. Had enough? Yes, these guys are surviving a bit longer. Why can't why can't I search any of these? You're you're a legion. That's fine. You're okay. Oh, stuff. Free stuff. Any fun stuff? Oops, I guess. Nope. I stopped smoking five years ago. Very bad habit. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Okay. On we go. seems to be stuck. <laughs> oh wait. Is that a kill the secret? <laughs> oh there's the boomers flying over again. Thanks guys. Okay. Oh it's gone now. That was, that was uh, quite weird. NCR in for my games. Fascinating. For God's sake. Right, let me just do a couple of stim packs. I'm just going to do this properly. I must be behind a wall of nonsense. Armour's low. Okay. Uh, well, the good thing about it is, is that I do have combat armour. Um, and I'm not really that fussed about um, You know, stealthiness. But I'll we'll take another hunting rifle because it's gonna get the damage up on my hunting rifle. Oh, somebody's still shooting at me as well. Oh, my hunting rifle. One then. Let's get this over with. Just have to come out and face your inevitable demise.
other uh, movements. More stem packs. Literally doing this by myself. And also, the game just doesn't seem to want me to look in my bodies anymore. There we go. Bye. You don't need extremities anymore. <laughs> what, the fuck? <laughs> what a mess. Look at this place. You know, war never changes. Okay. How come both of these red cages belong to the same person? I, I don't understand that, how that works. That's, that's not how. Um, Anatomy works, so you stop. Whatever. Right. We've made it back to the visitor centre. Um, so let's head in. Um, <laughs> Fallout New Vegas never changes, like war. Um, has a habit of uh, just randomly crashing whenever she feels like it. Um, which is inconvenient. Put the flamethrower down. Oh, for goodness sake. Hunting shotgun, that's probably why I was getting uh, taking so much damage. Salvage power armor. Yeah, and so the NCR don't have a lot of kind of power armor guys. Um, presumably, the power armor they do have has been yeah, it's salvaged, so they must have whether they took it from the Brotherhood or. Um, the Enclave, potentially. I guess that's another possibility. Um, but it does look like it's the kind of T45, T60 kind of uh, power armour, which is the Brotherhood's usual. Oh, good, we've got more, more cannon for fodder. Where are you going? Why are you going that way? Wow. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> strong stuff, absinthe. Did you not actually see me? It's a gun. You know, they're not the smartest guys. 
in the world sometimes the NCR, they're not um That legion, that my guys. Oh, there's a pump thing. So you must be the courier of the reports mission. Yep. Pass this message on to your commander. Hoover Dam will not fall while I still draw breath. I mean that could be arranged. This battle is far from over. Once the reinforcements from McCarran arrive, the counteroffensive will begin. Uh-huh. If that's true, then there's nothing else for it. My men and I will hold out as long as we can. You really think that's a good idea? Better that than simply give up. What other option is available? Retreat? Well, and yeah. And go where? According to you, the road west is blocked. And while you might let us by, I highly doubt your allies will do the same. Okay. So we can just be like, yep, you're screwed and then we can fight or we can be like, I'm betting a man as smart as you wouldn't leave himself without at least one contingency. Perhaps I do have a secret tunnel out of here. Uh -huh. But that doesn't change anything. My duty is to stay and fight. Okay. My men and I are soldiers. We share an obligation to follow orders and our orders are to hold this dam. So yeah, we can say, well I guess we fight, the dam's lost, your responsibility is to get your men out if you're alive, or then choose general leave now and your men will live, stay and you'll die. So yeah. You're you're right. These men have placed their lives in my hands, and I won't throw them away for a lost cause. Don't expect to hold this place for very long, however. The NCR will be back. So again, same thing that happens when you talk down Linnaeus is that, you know, okay, fine, we're going to retreat, but this isn't over, we'll be back, um, and, oh dear, um, and, you know, the legate's just like, we'll come back, um, and, yeah, it's largely the same. Judging by the lack of blood, I take it the coward Oliver fled rather than face me. No matter. The rest of the dam is fully under our control. A few pitiful holdouts remain, but their time is short. The general was the last source of concern. With their commander gone, the NCR will pull out of this region, allowing our conquest to continue westward unopposed for a time. The Legion will swell with the number of slaves we will claim from this place, and the tribute we gather will fund further campaigns. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. But for now we rest. Know that your efforts are appreciated and will not go unrewarded, but we can speak of that later. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Caesar entered the Strip as though it was his triumph. The Legion pushed the NCR out of New Vegas entirely, driving them back to the Mojave Outpost. The Legion occupied all major locations, enslaving much of the population and peacefully lording over the rest. Under the Legion's banner, civilization, unforgiving as it was, finally came to the Mojave Wasteland. The Courier, a mercenary at heart, helped the Legion achieve victory at Hoover Dam. Caesar honored her with a golden coin, minted in celebration of her contributions and distributed throughout the Wasteland. There we go. Cautious after the Boomer's display of power at Hoover Dam, Caesar chose to leave the Boomers alone. The boomers remained isolated, but have been seen flying over the Mojave Desert from time to time. Buried like beneath tons of plane. rubble, that's, that's the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Yep. Bye. No brother. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. 
The Fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam and suffered heavy losses. Caesar, unimpressed with their performance and their dependence on chems, had them exterminated. Mm. After the Legion's victory, yeah. Caesar, out of a strange respect for his old fellows, allowed the followers safe passage out of the wasteland. Reluctantly, the followers accepted the offer and abandoned Old Mormon Fort to the Legion. The Legion, preoccupied with its acquisition of New Vegas, scarcely took notice of the town of Good Springs. Many locals moved on, fearful of Caesar's long shadow. Only the old and the stubborn remained. As reward for their loyal service, Caesar forcibly integrated the great cons into the Legion. The sick and elderly were killed, the women sold as wives to ranking officers, and the tribe's identity was annihilated. Though many great cons mourned the death of their tribe, many more were ultimately satisfied with their revenge against NCR. After their victory at Hoover Dam, Legion troops rolled through Freeside. The kings tried to fight back, but most were killed, and the rest fled into the wasteland. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Hot-headed to the end, Sheriff Myers chooses to oppose Caesar's takeover of Prim with a standoff. Though the citizens take out a few legionaries, the town quickly falls to Caesar, its citizens utterly wiped out. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. War never changes. So quite a, a mixed bag of endings there. Um, the the strip in Vegas itself was a ended up a kind of dictatorship. So it was peaceful, but not in a nice, happy, everybody singing kumbaya kind of way. Um, you know, the kings were wiped out. The cans were assimilated. Um, Brotherhood, obviously, we. we did that, um, wiped them out, and the followers had an okay ending, I guess, because they were just allowed to, to leave um, rather than destroyed or attacked, um, possibly, as they said, just because Caesar was once um, part of the followers of the apocalypse um, before he became who he is um, at this point, and you know, the um, NCR obviously sent running back west. Good Springs was largely kind of left alone, but people were wary of the Legion having so much power in the area and eventually moved on. Um, you know, the Prim Sheriff Myers tried to fight the Legion and that obviously didn't go very well. Um, it definitely does not feel good um, that this kind of ending, um, you know, certainly from a, a kind of moral standpoint, uh, you know, Caesar's Legion is definitely the, the more kind of mo morally bad faction. Um, none of them are perfect, and I think that's the beauty of this um, story in New Vegas and I think that's really the, the, the thing that people like the most is that nothing ends up perfect. There's there's even, you know, if you do independent Vegas, which to to my mind is probably the most kind of morally comfortable and and, and the best kind of ending for the area for the Mojave. Um it's still not perfect, you know, um, this, you know, kind of small independent city-state essentially that um, you create with Yes Man, it doesn't work out perfectly for everybody. 
um, and obviously some of these endings do have a, you know, that they can be affected by what you do in terms of side quests and things. Obviously, this series we are looking at literally just the main story, so the kind of side quest in is um, I've kept pretty limited, which um, does mean that you know potentially there could be better outcomes um, for some of these people. I think you can improve the outcome for. The followers of the apocalypse if you do some quests for them um certainly the powder gangers the vault 19 powder gangers versus the um ncrcf powder gangers um the fiends were exterminated which probably was a good thing in terms of um that they're obviously you know they're chem users they're um aggressive they're dangerous um not the kind of people that, that Caesar would really approve of having around. Um, so that kind of makes sense and probably wiping out the fiends is an overall good for Mojave. Um, but yeah, it's it's an interesting one because, um, you know, the Legion, they certainly there could have been more Legion content in this game than there is, you know, in terms of side quests and things that you can do, and I know that's something that they um, they wanted to, to have more, but because this game was made in quite a short development cycle, that time was um, kind of limited for them to implement a lot of that, um, and certainly I think a lot more of the history of the Legion and things is revealed to you when you deal with Ulysses and Lonesome Road. Um, which is a story that I definitely want to cover at some point because um, uh, Old World Blues is my favourite um, of the DLCs. It's probably my favourite DLC in all the kind of modern Fallout games overall um, because it's it's hilarious and it's it's just bonkers. Um, it, it's great, you know, and the, the whole the Wizard of Oz theme behind it and things is I think is really good. But Lonesome Road's really interesting um, from a story point of view and a lore point of view because um, this character, more than any other character in um, a Fallout game that you play, really is is very much a blank slate at the start of the game. Um, and you know, it's certainly implied that you have some kind of amnesia, which given that you had a traumatic brain injury being shot in the head, that, that kind of makes sense that there could be some memory issues there, but there's still little hints like, um, there's the guy, I think you can go to I can't remember his name, but he's a singer is it Bruce Isaac maybe? Um, and you mention, oh yeah I saw you performing in your Reno, which is you know, kind of further west. Um, I think that's a place you visit in Fallout 2. Um, you know, and and there's kind of hints and things, and then there's a couple of hints in, um, you know, Lonesome Road, um, which are it's again it's hinted at in this game. So they obviously had this this kind of storyline in mind from the start, um, because when you talk to Johnson Nash and he comments about how the guy that was supposed the courier that was supposed to take the platinum chip was going to do it and then saw your name next on the list and said no let Courier 6 take it, take the package so he, whether he knew what the platinum chip was or what it was supposed to be is hard to say um, but he obviously had something and then he was like no I'm not doing it let the next person and that's your character um, so it, it's kind of an interesting one and you do learn and you can ask um, Ulysses a lot about the Legion um, and you can do a lot of damage to the Legion as well obviously at the end of Quantum Road you do get the option of um, firing nukes at NCR, at, Le at the Legion, at both if you really want to um, and the kind of impact of that and things can change depending on at what point you do Lonesome Road. It was very much intended to be something that you would do kind of after you completed the main story, although there's no post game, so you would still get reverted back to say before you go to the dam, but it's supposed to be really kind of a epilogue to, to Fallout New Vegas, that, that's probably the best way to put it, it's, it's kind of, it fills the role of an epilogue of a, okay this is the last thing that, you know, this uh, courier did, 
walked the lonesome road and revisited their past um, and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it is kind of a shame that the Legion didn't get quite as much content in, in here as they really could have done. Oh, there's Matthew Perry. This kind of sad to think that he's not with us anymore. Um, but it's... You know, it's interesting to look at things um, because, again, when you, you hear people talking about the Legion through the early game and you, you kind of maybe run across um, a couple of kind of Legion squads and things and you might think that they are just, you know, to almost like barbarians that they're charging at you with machetes and, and things and there's no sort of subtlety or nuance to how they operate. Um, you know, there's, there's no strategizing but then when you go down that quest line you, you kind of start to see that like Caesar is a very intelligent man um, he's very knowledgeable about a lot of things and he, he has that um, ability to strategize and things and then you find out when you speak to like Linnaeus that he's the same um, Lopez and Coulter whose name's just popping up there that's obviously all the voice actors um, you know he runs a spy network essentially um, he's kind of in charge of an entire spy network which includes people um, on the strip you know they've infiltrated the NCR um, to the point you, you know one of their main agents is a colonel so he's obviously been there for quite a long time and worked his way up the ranks to, to gain the trust and things to the point where when the NCR kind of catch on that information is getting leaked. He gets assigned to investigate it, even though he's the the one that's leaking the information. And um, but then that puts him in a difficult position because he's obviously not getting results because he hasn't really got another. He hasn't really got a scapegoat or anything um, until you come along and say, "I've been sent to help you. Um, you know, I'll, I'll help." and you can blame a guy that gets into trouble all the time and then you can kill him so that you can't um, be like no I had nothing to do with that and he can't defend himself and things and it's, as it's, it's quite harsh but you know it's interesting that the Legion have infiltrated the NCR um, they've got spies all over the place they're um, you know they're not just about charging at people screaming with machetes and, and things that there, there's a bit more subtlety to it and some of the traps they set up like you see in um, Nipton where they've got mines hidden under dead bodies and again that's quite a, that's a nasty trap because it's again it's it's taking advantage of the fact that you know you think any decent human being who saw somebody lying on the ground would go over and check if they're okay um, and then they get blown up because there's a mine hidden underneath the dead body and things like that. So it's 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 um, interesting, but yeah, it definitely feels like a, a bad end, and it, it does feel it does feel bad. I think the the fact that all these people have basically been enslaved, um, the women are sold off. It's it's very much a, it might be peaceful, um, but is that really what's best for the people that are living around Vegas is it really what's best for the people that are living in the Mojave um, to have this um, situation um, or would they have better lives under Mr House, would they have a better life under the NCR or w should we you know have everything be independent and then they can have the kind of life that they want without anybody necessarily interfering with that um, but yeah, kind of interesting to get to know the Legion a little bit better. I say it's it's not easy to find a lot of the the kind of lore and stuff with the Legion. Um, but you can learn quite a lot through talking to Caesar, through talking to Lopez, through talking to Lucius. Um, you know, and you can you can learn about um, about them and and things. But um, yeah, it's interesting to to do the ending backwards and, and do it in a different a different way um, and the boomers I mean they're obviously wary of the boomers understandably because we did give them a, a bomber to fly over wherever and drop bombs on whatever they like um, 
but you know, getting them on side and, and things because it's the one they're they're the one faction that literally everybody sends you to is the boomers because everybody wants them to be on side and um, because of their um proclivity for uh, explosives and and you know if you get the this bomber up and running for them um it can make a difference because you know having air superiority um in this world in this wasteland is is a big advantage really um which is why the Brotherhood cling desperately to all their vertebrates and then eventually when they build the Pridwin um the NCR have a couple of vertebrates that they obviously use um, that was obviously the way we wanted to bring the president in and then he would basically come in, do his speech, hand out a medal and then get straight back on the vertebrate and back over to presumably Shady Sands or wherever he was based himself. Um, you know, the Enclave would have had the vertebrates because they obviously lay claim to a lot of kind of the old military bases and, and things and they had them on the oil rig, um, presumably at Navarro, certainly at um, Adams Air Force Base and Raven Rock over in the capital wasteland, they have their vertebrates and things and it's, that's not kind of unrealistic either, you know, in the First World War was really about the time that planes had been invented so that was the first time that any kind of aircraft was used in war um, and it did really change um, the face of, of war and cha you know they say oh war never changes but um, you know war doesn't change but it also does because every time that there's a new conflict in the world every time there's a new war the technology that we have available advances more and more you know we're now in a situation where there's literal drones you know that can be controlled remotely and um, that can be used to um, spy but can also be used just to attack um, and to kill people and things and it's not necessarily a good thing I mean those first nuclear weapons that were used in 1945, um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, um, compared to what's available now, they were quite small in terms of um, the damage that they've done compared to, to what's available nowadays. It's, it's quite, um, you know, quite a stark difference and it's, it's quite scary in some ways because, you know, we... Um, you know, you play through this game and things and you see the after effects and a lot of it is based in the real science and I mean particularly um, you can find the old nuclear test site in this game um, which tracks because a lot of the, the kind of tests of, of nuclear weapons were performed in the Mojave Desert so um, you know, and there's there's a lot of that kind of hidden around um, in the area. Fifty ones in the Nevada desert somewhere as well. You know, it's it's kind of a um, it's a good space for that because a large part of it is completely unoccupied um, because towns settlements only pop up where there's resources. So, um, you know, large expanses of desert you're not going to have the resources for people to survive. So people aren't going to settle there. They're not going to build homes there and, and things. I mean, you see the same, you know, in Egypt and ancient Egypt where they invented irrigation and things, but they still, um, most of their towns and cities and things were built along the Nile because that's where the water was and that was what they needed to survive. You're not going to go and build a city in the middle of the Sahara Desert if you haven't got access to any kind of water or anything because you just can't do it that way. Um, and it's the same here, but um, yeah, I, this has been an interesting one. I don't think I've ever actually done a, a full kind of Legion ending before um, in this game, I think, because um, I've always really struggled with role playing um I'd, I'd like writing villains in terms of writing my books and things but 
Um, I think in games it, it could be quite hard for me to step into that, that role. Um, I think I've only ever exploded Megaton once as well when I've played, and I've played Fallout 3 a few times, so it's um, you know something that just doesn't sit well with, with me um, in terms of the, the kind of morality and things, but I think that's interesting in itself because this game then makes you think, and, and it makes you think, well, is this what's best for the Mojave? Is this what I want to do? Is this, you know, um, because so I've got the, the kind of mercenary, so I think I've ended on um, so a neutral karma. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, um, I'm basically sitting in Caesar's knee. Almost, that's a bit weird. Um, let me have a look. So, yeah, NCR don't like me. Caesar's Legion do. Yeah, ends up on uh, neutral karma there, so. Um, yeah, and for some reason loaded basically sitting in Caesar's lap. That that's a bit weird. Like that that that's not an appropriate um relationship. Um but yeah, the Legion not the biggest fan. I mean there's there's the whole sexism aspect as well because they do like make comments about you being a woman and things and they don't normally let women fight. I mean you can't as a oh, woman you can't fight in the off. arena at the fort. Um but if you're a male courier you can. Um, even though one of the people that you have to fight is a woman um, so if you remember way back um, Ranger, NCR Ranger Station Charlie which is the one just near Novak um, you talk to Ranger Andy and you go back there and the Legion have wiped them out but they left a record and say no they, we've taken one of the women alive and that's who it is um, that you can end up fighting in the arena um, at the fort but only if you're a man if you're a woman they won't let you do it but um, they did basically let me leave me to pretty much um, take Hoover Dam by myself um, because I ended up taking out the vast majority of the NCR troopers um, in the dam. So, you know, maybe you shouldn't be uh, underestimating what a woman's capable of. Um, but yeah, it is. I mean, you look around and you can see you know, the grindstones, because the mass, vast majority of the, the kind of lower ranks, the recruits, don't get guns. Um, they they tend to be left with kind of melee weapons and things. And then you've got hey. Ciceri, who's um, a slave that basically works the, the mess hall. Um, some tasty looking steaks. I'm getting quite hungry here, actually. Um, Vexillarius. Our way. True to Kaisar. Yeah. Um, you know, and the fact that the vast majority, everybody's sleeping in tents rather than buildings. Um, yeah, there's the arena that we're not allowed to fight in. Really appreciate the sexism. Um, but obviously, strategically, it's a good vantage point um, because it does give them ability to observe across the dam um, and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, so that's the Legion ending. Um, we assassinated President Kimball of the NCR um, and then we took the dam in favour of the Legion, um, which doesn't feel good but that, it's still very interesting um, and I think, you know, it's It does make it feel, I mean, sometimes you can because all the endings do follow a very similar kind of path up to a point. You can feel a wee bit samey. So doing things for the Legion, um, you know, quite a few differences that they obviously, everybody wants you to deal with the boomers and generally um, everybody will send you to deal with Brotherhood as well. Um, but other than that, you know, the the, the Kings, the, the Emeritus, the, they don't, if the Legion don't really care about them. The White Glove Society, they do, but um, you know Caesar doesn't really care either whether you get the White Gloves on side or whether you wipe them out. He's just like, just do something and deal with them kind of thing. Um, 
but you know it's it's um, you're kind of approaching the dam from a different way and you're um, you know because even the house and the S man endings both you end up um, working for the characters down the weird dance there um, you end up working for the NCR in terms of when you go to the Battle of Hoover Dam you're on the NCR side until you defeat Legat Linnaeus and then it's only at that point that you're like yeah actually you guys can uh, piss off as well <laughs> um, you know it's it's um, but yeah interesting, different um, morally not 100% on board with it spreading stories about the burned man yeah, so you keep saying um, everybody's just concerned that all the slaves are talking about the burned man. Um, but yeah, from what I understand, Caesar does know that Joshua Graham's still alive, um, but he doesn't really want to kind of talk about it because he doesn't want to encourage the, the rumours and stuff, um, which is interesting. I always like the art on the magazine covers as well. Hello. Hello, child. Don't have names. It's just random children. Um, yeah, I mean, I know it's it's quite an old game now um, at this point, but it still looks pretty good to me. It still looks pretty good to me. I mean, I've been in playing video games for for a very long time now. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see that there's actually more to the camp than what you see, like down there. Um, you can't really go there, um, but you know, there's just there's piles of more and more tents and things because it, it is it's a legion. There's 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 a lot of them. Um, there's a lot of them. It's kind of the. But yeah, I don't think there's really a way where this goes actually. I'm just wandering now, but um, this is just a trench that's been built as a layer of uh, defence. Yeah, probably. But yeah. Because it's got that red filter over it, that's kind of the, what you get if you're in any kind of military um, base of operations. Again, puts this kind of red filter, but yes, yeah, I think there's just a trench around it as a defence. Um, Dale Barton, that's your name, isn't it? How's yeah. the NCR going to protect Vegas if it can't even protect its own president? I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know what to say to that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's uh, us for this playthrough then, that's the Legion run through over and done with. Um, the bull has won the day this time, um, but next time we're going to go back in time again um, to the final alternate universe, alternate universe D, um, which is the NCR end and so um, that's when it's quite involved. Um, I'll probably gloss over a lot of the stuff, like obviously the boomers um, will be part of it. Um, the Brotherhood we have kind of covered, but there is a way of negotiating a, a, a kind of truce between the Brotherhood and the NCR. Um, and there's quite a few other things that, that they'll want you to deal with as well. So the NCR quest line is, is quite involved. Um, they do make you work for it much more than um, anybody else does really. So um, we'll get into that next week. But um, yeah, that's us done with the Legion playthrough. Um, it was interesting. Um, yeah interesting but thanks for listening and um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear more um, we're almost kind of finished with the insects the entomology side of things um, on the science of all eight series and once we've done that and we've done the scorpions then um, I'll be tackling my lurks and um, that's quite going to be quite a big topic so that should be quite interesting um, I have finished up with the, the main vaults in um, Fallout 1 
so um, we'll probably move into the vaults in this game as well and um, Fallout New Vegas because they're certainly some of the most um, I'd say some of the most interesting ones Vault 22 um, is wild and very interesting Vault 11 is really really dark um, Vault 34, I mean a lot happened with Vault 34 as well Vault 21, there's a few bits and pieces, it's it's probably the kind of least interesting but it's still interesting um, so we'll be making a start on that probably as of um, this week and over on my blog I have just posted um, my kind of in-depth review of the TV show, the Fallout TV show, um, episode one. So that's up on the blog. Um, I'm also revamping the website and putting up a bunch of resources for um, writers. So whether that's novel writers, um, fan fiction writers, any any kind of author, um, or video game writers, anybody um, in that kind of space, um, sort of doing like tabletop RPGs and stuff as well. Um, I'm going to put up a bunch of resources that should hopefully help your, uh, you know, search history not be quite so insane. Um, but I'll be covering a lot of topics that I have kind of the knowledge and experience on. Um, I will also eventually be publishing all that in a kind of video format as well um, for people that find that more useful. Um, so that should be interesting. Um, and yeah come Thursday we will get on with the insects um, the entomology and then on Saturday um, we'll be looking at one of the vaults um, and the experiment and everything that happened there um, so hopefully we'll be looking forward to that and I'll see you next time okay bye